At NC IDEA, we have the great privilege to help you, whether you're in one of our major metropolitan areas or one of our beautiful rural communities. After all, you are the ones that are planting the seeds of ideas that turn into rich, dynamic companies that strengthen our communities and help us build a better future for everyone in the state of North Carolina. North Carolina rural entrepreneurs are one of our greatest assets. They are often juggling multiple business ventures and working on uh, managing various projects creatively. And we're really proud to partner with NC IDEA to help better serve rural entrepreneurs. So Rise 29 is a project that Mike Harris and I created literally on the back of a napkin. And it was a conversation in which we were thinking about how do you bring together community and university to drive job growth, job creation, um, small business starts. The unique challenges that rural communities face are sometimes that people believe that they're not going to be places of opportunity. And so as a rural community is looking at talent drain that moves from rural places to more urban places, you lose that intellectual energy or that happens when you have a vibrant, holistic community that's thinking about lots of different things. Descalza is a made-to-measure clothing brand where we collaborate with artisans from Latin America, bring the fabrics here to North Carolina, and produce beautiful, unique statement pieces. Staying connected to our roots, staying connected to the motherland, staying connected to those traditions, the music, the food, such a beauty that different parts of the world, textiles is what weaves us together and makes this world a little smaller. Founded here in Wilkes County, so at Veranovo, we have a dual mission that we want to focus on. One is creating sustainable agriculture, and the other is revitalizing rural economic development. For us to be able to create products that are a value add for both sustainable farming practices and providing meaningful jobs in a new job landscape, you know, that's our goal. We're one of the largest counties in Western North Carolina, over 750 square miles. We have a lot of land to develop. It's a great community to, to build out in because whatever you put in into this area, you're gonna get it back tenfold. The Industrial Commons has two parts to it. One is where we incubate and accelerate businesses, and the other one is all about the future of work, particularly with young people, thinking about their imagination of what can the future of work look like in a creative way in some of our traditional industries. I am really excited about this model of circularity, creating an economy that can look at environmental imperatives and also really look at the human dynamic of how do we not like throw people away, but how do we have the innovation of people also be circular? How can they stay in the communities where they are? We saw the opportunity to build a community development corporation here at the coast to help build community infrastructure. In Array, we want to assist with making sure the coastal rural community has these resources available to them just as much as the urban area to deploy these loans and we're looking at other types of investments to bring into the community to stimulate the economy. At Bailey, we're an asset tracking solution that helps automotive dealerships easily track and locate vehicles in keys with just the press of one button. Uh, they just type in a stock number, a repair order number, and it'll show them the exact location of a vehicle or a key. We also collect a ton of data that helps them optimize their operations and run more efficiently. Right now, we're about half a million dollars in ARR, and we're excited about the potential of this company. Sure is an infant formula startup company, and so we were able to create a partnership with NC State and the North Carolina Food and Innovation Lab. We were able to take our MVP to them, and they created our first product. The rural areas really do birth greatness. Sometimes they can be overlooked, but when you really hone in and give them the access to the support, their resources, the knowledge, the funds that they need to be successful, magic happens. And I'm an example of that. I'm an example of someone who's been able to take advantage of the ecosystem of different resources that are out there and available for small businesses. High tide's coming in. Sandbar Oyster Company creating living shorelines that are underpinned by an oyster reef. That oyster reef helps accumulate sediment, grow plants, and then you've got a, a shoreline that really is pretty resilient against erosion by storms, by currents, rising sea levels. It can actually adapt and grow up with sea level. 
Wells Fargo is proud to partner with NCIDEA and together we're creating a future where rural entrepreneurs thrive. Just to have partners like NCIDEA providing funding to activate the ideas that arise that will build us a healthy future together. I hope that this region really becomes a hub and an ecosystem for that work that can then be replicated in other places. That's the beauty about being here is, and the advantage of being here is that North Carolina has a rich textile history and that was the support that I needed for my business. We won the seed grant, raised the $50,000 and thank God because we were about two weeks away from running out of capital. It really helped us grow our business and, and helped us hire the people that we needed to, to help it grow. This whole journey has been a lot of pivoting, a lot of different turns and shifts. But as long as you are willing to go after and figure out those answers, you become as you go. It's been monumental in gaining traction, that pre-validation. So when we do go speak to investors, they know that, oh, NC Ideas already looked at this and I guess favored the project, so. Wouldn't be a Sandbar Oyster Company without NC Idea. It's just a critical link in, in making something like this possible in terms of the protection that's coming on with materials that Sandbar Oyster Company is producing. Five years later, we've had 25 small business starts, 198 students have completed internship, 74 clients have gotten through the Rise 29 experience with us. They've taught us along the way, created 115 new jobs and saved 16. Absolutely, and what we think we've created is a national model for rural entrepreneurship. In fact, we won an award for that. That's exactly right. Let's go Rise. From all your friends at NC Idea, it's our great privilege to help you turn your entrepreneurial dreams into reality.